Welcome to Journals of the Classes. In this supplemental series, we will dive into each D&D class and their corresponding subclasses. This week's episode is... Paladin, Paladin, Ooh. cause we all like the good boy. Paladin. I made that up right now. Hey. It's like off the top of my head. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. Hopefully, my knowledge is better than my singing. Hopefully. It's not bad. Hopefully. Not bad. We'll see. <laughs> Holy warriors. Holy warriors. Bound to a sacred oath. Paladins are crusaders in service to the gods they worship. They are powerful, righteous, and a formidable force against the heathens that would challenge them. <laughs> Divine smite. That's it. That's all it says. Oh, okay. Making sure it's not interesting. I was unaware. <clears throat> anyway, uh, our first subclass is conquest. It isn't enough for these paladins to establish order. They must crush the forces of chaos. They serve gods of war and conquest and seek to banish evil from the world at any cost. What if the cost is a sandwich? I mean, me personally, I wouldn't I wouldn't go for that. Devotion. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know if I want to do this. How devoted really are people? Very. Very? I mean, Very. I don't know. okay. All right, well, I'll do this one. We'll see what happens. <laughs> <clears throat> this oath binds a paladin to the lofty ideals of justice, virtue, and order. Well, that's a snore's fest. Uh, they are the quintessential paladin and wield the sword of justice against any who stand against it. So, I didn't know Justice Smith had a sword. I don't know. I don't know. He's, he's, he's got a lot of stuff. Like, he's Will Smith's son. He probably He's, has a number of swords. Oh, I'm sure. Sword. Mm -hmm. um, shield. Sword, shield. But you know what his main weapon is? What? A slap. I was gonna, anyway. I thought you were going to say love. I thought you were going to say love. His big weapon is love. Let's just move on. Anyway. We need to move on after that. We should not be paying for the sins of our fathers. Anyway. <laughs> Glory. Glory has been... That's a Finn good movie. Is glory. Oh, sorry. It's a good movie. Anyway, seeking to do deeds of ultimate heroism, these paladins dream of the mead halls of the gods as they charge into an unwinnable battle. So they're the like. <laughs> I mean. I mean. I, I mean, it could be Sparta, the 300. I right. Mean, that, yeah, I could see that. All right. I just don't think I would do that. I, I, I mean, I just... If you say it's unwinnable, <laughs> redemption. Well, we need so apparently, redemption. after glory, you have to redeem <laughs> yourself. You have to redeem yourself. <laughs> so, this oath sets a paladin on a difficult path. I mean, difficult in the unwinning battle thing. <laughs> That's, well, that's not I would difficult. Think glory well, would no, no. be the most. Because it's not difficult because you don't have to win it. I mean, I guess so. right. You not, can just like charge in and be like, pressure. "Hey, yeah, I'm not, here. Yeah, there's not a lot of pressure. I'm seeking glory." It sets a paladin on a difficult path, one that requires a holy warrior to use violence only as a last resort. So these are kind of like the pacifist ones. Yeah. Okay. So it's like, okay, I'm gonna talk to you first, and then I'm gonna. Like, try to bribe you, and then I'm going to try right. to do what these other things. And, oh, right. yeah, by the way, I, I guess I'll have to fight you. Right. Yeah, I, I can see that. <laughs> uh, you want to, you know, Nick Fury wants to think he's like that, but he's really not like that at he's all. He's not. Mm -mm. <laughs> not at all. No. He goes to violence too fast. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's, it's... Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, and <laughs> paladins who dedicate themselves to this path believe that any person can be redeemed. And that the path of benevolence and justice is one that anyone can walk. 
So basically, they're saying that they believe they are the ones that are kind and believe that anybody can change. Hmm. Uh, nice. They might also turn into Hayden Christensen randomly, it's but weird, like they were played by someone else, by someone else, and then then Hayden Christensen, who wasn't born during the right, right the first ones. I don't you know, think so. And it's just, now, it just happened, you know. You get redeemed, you get turned into Hayden Jake Christensen. Why not Jake you know what? Ancients. The Green Knights, as they are often called, devote themselves to the virtues of order and life. Not because they believe in those ideals. Okay. But I just rather, love that that's what they're fighting for, but they don't really believe that. But rather, because they seek to preserve the beauty of the world and all its inhabitants. Fear their power, Green Knights Light! <laughs> they really do seem like. Yeah, they really do seem like Green Lanterns. That was a good joke. I liked it. Oh, good. Thank you. I'll give it a 10 of 10. Oh, I like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Good joke. Crown. Well, you know I love a good crown. <laughs> I love me some crowns. Uh, but not the drink. The writing implement. No. Tiaras, baby. Diadems. Put it on my hair. <laughs> Sworn to a sovereign or nation, these paladins dedicate themselves to serving society and, in particular, the laws that hold society together. So, fantasy cops? Yeah. I mean, fantasy that's, cops. That's really what it sounds like. Yeah. I bet they're fun at parties, too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the Oath of the Watcher. Why are Ryan and Jane in here? I... I... <laughs> Listen, Bugara. <laughs> I'm watching you. Eternally vigilant knights that protect the mortal realm from the dangers that exist beyond it. Thus, the Watchers hone their minds, spirits, and bodies to be the ultimate weapons against such threats. I am your guide through these vast new realities. Follow me and ponder the question. I mean, yeah, because he's a watcher. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yatu! Or Iwatu. Iwatu! 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 All right, let's talk some vengeance, people. <laughs> <laughs> vengeance! Okay, so this is a subclass. I'm not just saying. She's not venting here. It is a subclass. We're just going to talk about vengeance for the next hour. <laughs> vengeance is fine. All right. <laughs> we're sh- We're, we're sh- Worshipping, Good Lord. worshipping gods of retribution and justice, these paladins punish those who have committed grievous sins. Mm. So, is it like the law's version of grievous sins? Is it God law? I, God's I, I law. Of I grievous assume sins? it's their gods. Okay, so it's like yeah. whoever they're in service. Well, I mean, of. they're paladins, right? That's so true. Yeah, the grievous so. sins to them. I don't know. The crown, the crowns ones, they do. That's sovereigns. So right. But I assume the sovereigns are probably also in line with the god that they follow. Right. So, yeah. Right. Or they're like pharaohs or something. Hmm? Maybe. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> uh, okay. These Avengers and Dark Knights seek... I see what you did there. <laughs> uh, seek to set right what has gone wrong and care little for their own purity. A fire must be fought with fire. So it's like Ghost Rider. Which is perfect because that is yeah, like, yeah. No, that's, yeah, no, that's fair. I mean, that's it really fair. is because, like, they're like, <laughs> oh, dude, you did it. Or I guess it could be Etrigan from DC, like, hmm. demon, the demon Etrigan. So it could be a Jason Blood. We love me some Jason Blood. Yeah. He hasn't seen anything with Etrigan in it and apparently has never read any of the demon comics because there were several. But whatever. Whatever. Our final subclass is. Oathbreaker. So, you know, I thought these were in alphabetical order. But then we go Vengeance to Oathbreaker, so... I don't know what's anymore. Up? What's up, Dungeons and Dragons? What's <laughs> up, Wizards of the Coast? Do you guys not understand alphabetization or what? <laughs> anyway, Oathbreaker. Whatever light burned in the paladin's heart has been extinguished. Only darkness remains, and their oath has been forever forsaken. I wonder if um I wonder if Brand needs a new sword. <laughs> you know, cause cause Oathbreaker. Yeah, isn't it? You know, isn't that Oathkeeper? 
Right, but you know, I mean, well, you just you say, yeah, break you the sword. Just, just break Maybe it's Valerian steel. Oh, somebody could break it. I'm sure somebody could break it. Let's let's just resurrect Azura High. We don't know who Azura High is. Oh my god. Let's get John in here, and let. You know nothing, John Snow. <laughs> All right. I've been Shadu. <laughs> I've been Frey. <laughs> and we will see you next time on Journalists of the Classes. Bye, Bye. everybody.